everybody. Today we're gonna to show you how to make this awesome emoji cake. It is the meh character. You can say meh really well. Give us a thumbs up. It's gonna be a surprise cake. We are gonna stuff some cool surprises inside this cake. When you cut it open, it's so neat. You're gonna find little surprises inside. So it's almost like a surprise egg, but it's a surprise cake egg. Uh, but for this, we started out with this 10 inch round pan. This thing is huge. I ordered it online and I'll put a link for that in the description below. Okay, so the first step, what you wanna do, start out with your round cake pans. You could certainly buy a smaller one. Uh, this one again holds two in one half. I made this one cookies and cream. This other half, I did chocolate. Level off the bottom so you can kind of rest it down flat. It's cut out the center. I just use a round cookie cutter. Uh, you can use a knife if you want to in the center of your bottom cake. Uh, so from there, what we're gonna do is use our butter cream frosting. I'll put a link, of course, that into the description below. And I just love to use a lot of buttercream frosting. But now I'm gonna use a 10 inch round cake that I baked in vanilla in the middle. So it will kind of sandwich on top and I'll be able to do three flavors of cake in this. Then I'm also gonna use that same cookie cutter on the middle cake as well. Then you are going to stack them. So do your crumb coat all the way around. And you can either use fondant or some kind of like little candies to seal off the inside so then you can place in your little surprise toys. You're gonna put your little treats inside. Now put your top layer on. Finish that off with your crumb coat. So do your crumb coat all the way around. Now, when you have the whole thing finished off, here's a little trick I do. I put it in the freezer. I really let that kind of firm up. Then I go back and smooth everything out. Okay, now that I have the crumb coat on this, take a look at the size of this. This thing's bigger than my head. It's huge. Now, keep in mind, you can always use a smaller uh, a half sphere. I used about 10 inches on this one. Time to add the fondant. I am using yellow fondant, of course, all the way around. And roll it out, cover it up. When that's done, we are going to add the eyes. The lips. And all the other parts.
Here we have our awesome, super cool emoji movie cake. We would love to know what you want us to make next time. Make sure you subscribe. And then if you want to know when we're making our next video, make sure you click on those post notifications so it'll kind of give you an idea as to when our next video has popped up. So we want to hear from you on things you want us to make in the future. So thanks so much for watching. Again, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.